we have a big problem. Why is everything so expensive in Nigeria? We recently just watched this video from Fisayo, a popular YouTuber in Nigeria. And it's got us wondering, is Nigeria getting worse day by day? Are we moving from fry pan to fire? It's like we just woke up one day and the economy just decided to use us to cash crews. Turning on narratives like buying bread and beans into a full-blown action movie. At this point, we have a big problem. But let's break it down. Watch this. In 2023, one kg of rice cost around 555 naira, and a year later, you need around 1,600 naira for the same quantity of rice. Beans experienced a 219% jump in one year, going from about 630 naira for a kilogram in 2023 to over 2 thousand naira in 2024 these are just to mention but a few of the essential commodities that have experienced the same price jumps but why why is everything so expensive a key reason for high cost and food shortage is disrupted supply chains due to factors like limited farmland and insecurity if the government can invest in agricultural infrastructures and support local farmers to enhance food security, then maybe the farm produce might get cheaper. As of 2023, agriculture accounted for 25.18% of our real GDP. But what makes food an even more important part of this inflation conversation is that a 2019 report by the National Bureau of Statistics showed that Nigerian households were spending a whopping 56.65% of their income on food. That is more than half of what people make spent on food. By 2023, another report by Picodi states that around 59% of our expenditure is food related. For every 100,000 Naira Nigerians make, 60,000 Naira goes to food. Imagine a significant portion of income is spent on ensuring there is enough rice, gari and soup ingredients to go around, chocolates of other food stuff like the almighty yam and beans. How much will remain for person's salary safe when transportation and housing still day one side with little or nothing to save? Is that even ideal? Food inflation is the most critical component of the inflation basket, sitting at a sky-high 40.66%. And while there may be some external factors contributing to the rising cost of some goods, our food inflation problem is quite internal. Let's talk about it. Arguably, the most significant contribution to the constant increase in the cost of food items is insecurity. All the areas where the majority of Nigeria's supply of farm produce comes from have been targeted by attacks. Over the last three years, farmers in these states have been extorted for levies to remain on their farms, abducted, or just taken out. This has resulted in a lot of farmers leaving their farmlands behind. This creates a huge gap, another hurdle to scale infrastructure. It's one thing to be able to farm and harvest the food items that are needed in Nigerian households, but it is another thing to even get these items to their destination. The infrastructure required to transport produce interstate is not at its best right now, further widening the gap between supply and demand when it comes to food. Apart from the fact that road networks are either too bad or too unsafe to commute, there's also the fuel problem. In March of 2023, the present government removed subsidies on fuel, increasing the cost of fuel, hence an increase in the cost of transportation of food. And obviously, this would also translate to an increase in the price of that food item or food items. When it comes to farming, the non carries first, no doubt. But the distance from there to Lagos is a very big deal. Considering the cost of fuel, talk less the level of security in a long and lonely road prone to robbery, kidnapping, and all sorts of things, all in the name of business. Now, imagine owning a farmland in Ogun State, a stone throw from Lagos, and it's just a 45 minutes drive from Lagos, where you can get your farm produce to big markets like ShopRite without stress and worry over insecurities. Your chance to own a better land in a golden spot that is just 45 minutes drive to Lagos is here. Messi Land Estate is the perfect place for you. Located in Ogun State, off Abeokuta Expressway, and it's just 20 minutes drive from the RCCG Redeem Camp, Mowe. This land now jackpots for any kind of farming where you like. People are already doing things like snail farm, pig rearing, tomato plantation, pepper farm, cabbage farm, and many more that you can choose from. And the price will soon increase by the 30th of September 2024. With a flexible 24-month payments plan, 
Owning a land here is not just a dream, but a smart and strategic move. A plot here goes for 500,000 Naira, and per acre, that is 6 plus, goes for 2 million Naira only. And the price goes soon increase by 30th September 2024. So now now the time to secure your spot and start your farming empire. Don't miss your opportunity. My name is Promise from landproperty.ng. We help Nigerians in diaspora and of course Nigerians in Nigeria to make future-proof investments smoothly and stress-free. Call or WhatsApp the number showing on your screen now to secure your future.